I first want to thank Carrie. That was that was beautiful, and Misty for getting such a diverse panel. Um, I'd like to first say that I'm not an activist. I am a, a worker, and I occupy to learn and to educate. And what I've been learning down um, at the camp is kind of a what we call a non-representative democratic process. It's completely different from anything I've ever experienced. But most importantly, I've learned the value of life. For so long, like many of us, I turned a blind eye to all the suffering in the world and the world's struggle. But as long as I was okay, nothing else was my worry. But when I saw and heard of the protest happening in New York in September, I knew that I had to help. There were so many like me in the world that was suffering, and it seemed like it was the very first time that it was being talked about. I knew that there was something that I could do. So, I started volunteering with the Occupy October 7th, as soon as we set up camp um, at College Green. And what I've experienced is new and creative ways to brighten our community and, in turn, change things in our world. I am currently actively involved in the Education, Culture, and Treasury Committee and we have helped to educate the public and occupiers to certain key issues um, important to our modern society. Discussions on renewable energy, privilege, solar power, like winter health, how we're gonna survive outside in those tents, and uh, class warfare, which is kind of the biggest discussion right now on the news. But uh, outside the occupation, I work three different jobs and um, for, for numerous reasons, it's not really important. The type of person that I am, I am a worker, very, very far from an activist. But when I saw and heard all of the things that was happening um, in Wall Street, it just called to my heart to help. And uh, it's one of the main reasons why I'm here, um, because there's a lot of people out there that aren't capable of doing what I'm doing, and they're suffering more and more each and every day. So. With uh, the beautiful life that I had, I uh, saw somewhat of a bright light at the end of my tunnel, but I soon realized with my involvement in the Occupy that this isn't about me. It never really was. It's about my neighbors. It's about my friends and family, and more importantly, it's about our children. I feel to some degree that there was a silence among the generations before us, and we're paying for it. And the only thing we have to do is stand up and unite and try to do something to change so that our children will have a better future. Another reason why I occupy is because of all these beautiful people we have here. Our camp is fantastic and it's worth an experience. You guys should stop by at any given time. We serve dinner at six. <laughs> um, I just feel more importantly that this is probably, as you've heard, the only time that we'll have in our life to stand up and to stop sitting by and watching our lives and our futures just kind of pass us by. 